In the early hours of September 1, 1859, Richard Carrington, an English astronomer, found himself immersed in the study of sunspots. Suddenly, at around 11 o'clock a.m., he was startled by a brilliant flash of white light erupting from the very region he was observing. Lasting a mere five minutes, this celestial spectacle would soon herald a remarkable event. Almost 17 hours later, Earth was hit by an extraordinary solar storm of unprecedented magnitude. This wasn't just any storm. It was a geomagnetic upheaval that wreaked havoc on telegraph systems across continents. Operators were left bewildered as their equipment malfunctioned. And auroras painted the skies in vibrant hues as far south as Cuba and Hawaii. Such was the impact of what came to be known as the Carrington Event an event that underscored the immense power of the sun and the fragility of our planet in the face of celestial forces. Fast forward to the present day and we find ourselves on the brink of another solar spectacular premature solar maximum and the impending reversal of the sun's magnetic field. As the sun enters the peak of its 11-year cycle, anticipation grows for heightened solar activity, including increased solar flares, sunspots, and coronal mass ejections. While these phenomena promise breathtaking auroral displays, they also raise concerns about the vulnerability of our technology-dependent society. This period coincides with humanity's renewed interest in lunar exploration through the ANIS mission after more than 50 years. What lies ahead as the sun's activity intensifies? What anomalies in this solar cycle have caught NASA's attention? And most importantly, what risks does this heightened solar activity pose? For the astronauts embarking on the AMIS mission to the moon, the sun, our celestial lifeblood, is not just a static presence in the sky. It is a dynamic sphere of plasma, constantly changing and evolving. Every 11 years, it undergoes a cycle of increased and decreased activity known as the solar cycle. We are currently witnessing the 25th cycle of this phenomenon since systematic records began in 1755. Sunspots, temporary dark spots on the sun's surface caused by intense magnetic activity, are key indicators of this cycle. As the cycle progresses, sunspots emerge, peak, and then decline in number. This cyclical pattern is also reflected in a movement of sunspots across the sun's surface, creating what astronomers refer to as the butterfly diagram. That the sun's activity is not limited to sunspots alone. It also involves changes in its magnetic field and overall activity, including solar wind, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. This activity reaches its peak during the solar maximum and its lowest point during the solar minimum. However, each solar cycle is unique in its intensity and duration, with some cycles lasting longer or being more intense than others. Historically, there have been periods of unusually low solar activity, such as the Maunder Minimum and the Dalton Minimum, which coincided with cooler temperatures on Earth. Conversely, the modern maximum saw heightened solar activity and warmer temperatures. Solar Cycle 25, which we are currently experiencing, has surprised scientists with its intensity and early peak. Initial forecasts predicted a peak in 2025, but recent updates suggest an earlier peak in 2024, with higher than expected sunspot numbers. This unpredictability extends to solar flares, powerful bursts of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's atmosphere. X-class solar flares, the most intense category, can disrupt radio communications and pose risks to astronauts. Recent years have seen an increase in X-class flares, highlighting the need for vigilance during periods of heightened solar activity. While solar activity can impact Earth's technology and climate, it also offers opportunities for exploration and discovery. Auroras, created when solar particles interact with Earth's atmosphere, are a stunning reminder of the sun's power and beauty. As humanity embarks on new missions to explore the cosmos, we must navigate the challenges posed by solar activity while embracing the wonders it reveals.